was in a really, really deep, dark moment uh, in one day and my sister came to visit me, sending me some letters from schools of Italy. Uh, when I read that uh, there's like students, kids who are really, really willing to meet me when I get released, I think about this moment. Uh, every time I feel like I'm down, uh, I think about how this really, this was really an emotional moment uh, that touched me and gave me the power to resist more and more in my small cell, like in, uh, in Cairo. Everyone knew about my story, about my case, from those like petitions, those posts, those campaigns, and even all the demonstrations that had taken place all over Italy uh, was really, really uh, effective. It made a very, very important impact over my situation, even inside the prison, of how uh, it made me resisting more and more. I think uh, everyone uh, should fight for human rights, even those who are not uh, working in a human rights institution. It's really important uh, to keep human rights as a priority for everyone. There is a lot of uh, prisoners of consciousness who the people don't know about them, about anything related to their cases. So uh, we need to do more and more for human rights. From now, uh, I start again working as a human rights defender. I'm ready. Uh, I want to do as much as I can. I want to use this visibility and all this support to defend more and more prisoners. Uh, we still have Ala Afattah, Ahmed Douma. A lot of Egyptian prisoners who are still in the prison. We need to work for them. We want to release them as soon as possible because every second inside the prison, it's something really, really hard. No one will imagine how it's hard to be in a prison for one second. Vediamo a presto.